Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. The uh, Trace Clinic today is going to be on Blacktail. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Okay, to make the commercially tied Blacktail Trace, we require Kingfisher 16 kilo nylon, our 92247, that's the barbed hook, size 4, and of course our Kingfisher three way swivel, size 4 as well. Now, to make the trace, what we are going to do, I'm just going to take one out of the packet and show you what it looks like first of all. So, you get two traces inside one of our packets uh, it's 30 centimeters of hook snoot and about 40 to 50 centimeters of sinker snoot three-way swivel very easy to do let me show you how we make it okay guys to make the trace is very simple we take our kingfisher 16 kilo nylon just gonna open it up here quickly Put my spectacles on. Tie a figure of eight knot to our three-way swivel. And how we do it, I'm just gonna put it that side so you guys can see. We just take our finger, put it inside, wrap around three times. Okay, there we go. Figure of eight, pull tight, cut. 30 centimeters, cut. Second loop, we take the eye of the nylon back through the eye of the actual second swivel. Wrap it around three times. One, two, three times. Back through, figure of eight, slide down, pull tight. Sinker snoot is gonna be longer then the hook snoot. So the easiest way to do it is just take, there's your 30 centimeters, there's your sinker snoot, done. Okay, remember the hook snoot is shorter, so we're gonna take our mustard hook, and it's a barbed hook. You'll see the barbs on the back. The reason we use it is that the bait sits nicely on it and doesn't come off when we throw. Okay, so we're gonna go through the eye of the hook, Doing our figure of eight once again. One, two, three times around to the bottom. Figure of eight, slide down, put that through there, pull tight, cut off. Attach our sinker, and again, when fishing for blacktail, it'll be a one ounce to three ounce size sinker that we use for our blacktail. And everybody asks why we use such heavy nylon. It's because you could hook something else. You could hook a brush here. You could hook a kingfish. This trace we tie so that the average angler has a better chance of catching a bigger fish as well. Okay, there we go, guys. It's as simple as that, easy as that. There's the trace, done, tied. The top part of the actual swivel is going to go to your main line and the sinker will attach to that part there. Quick and easy, go out there guys and enjoy it. Today I'm going to show you how to bait up one of our commercially tied blacktail traces. Very simple, what we require for it is our thin latex cotton, that's the Kingfisher thin latex cotton. The reason we use the thin latex cotton the fish that we're fishing for are very small. You don't want to use a thick latex that's hard for them to bite and to um, try and get through to get to the bait. Also, it's more petite, nicer baits that you can make with it. Um, obviously, we need our trace, sharp knife, and a sardine. Now, I'm just going to tie on a sinker. When fishing for blacktail, we fish very light. One ounce, two ounce, sometimes even a three ounce sinker. There's a lot of big blacktail around at the moment. Just gonna quickly tie this on. Uh, just cut off the tag in there. Okay. 
Okay, my favorite way of doing it is start at the, the back over here and just work our way to the tail. There we go. The sardine is a bit frozen. Just remove all this stuff away. Okay, so that's it. Over there. Turn it over so the flesh side sits facing you. I like to make a little slit in the actual bait and then just cut it down a bit because it's a little bit big for my liking. Okay, so there it is there. Take our hook, and this is a mustard hook. It's got barbs on the back. It's a 92247. We take it with the skin side facing you, put the hook through like that, and you fold it over. That split that you made in it actually allows it to turn a lot easier. So let's just quickly do that. Take the thin latex cotton, bind it up, go around the top of it, and then back down to the end. With the flesh facing out, it exposes a lot of the flavor, the smell to the actual fish. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. Go out there, take your sons and daughters, go and fish. Blacktail, we get all the way from the Cape to flippin' Mozambique. So it's one of those fish that are very prolific and most probably one of the first fish that you can take your youngster to go and target. This is the second bait that I prefer to make for a blacktail. I call it a gobstopper. And you're gonna see why. We're gonna take the head, cut it behind the head, like that. We're gonna take the belly part, cut it out, and open it up, exposing the stomach part. There we go. See that there? So that is all the intestines of our sardine. We're gonna take our mustard hook. There's a very hard part. If I defrost this a little bit more with my fingers, you'll find there's a very hard part in the actual sardine there. There we go, it's hard. So when you take the hook, we go through that very hard part of the stomach, like that, push it through, slide it on. Then we take the rest of it, take our Kingfisher thin latex cotton, and we just tie it up, just to stop all the pieces from flying off when we throw. There we go. And that's why we call it a gobstopper. It's one of those big rah, baits that you make. And I promise you, fishing for blacktail, with that smell, when it hits the water, the blacktail come from East London to come and eat my bait. That is most probably the best part of the whole sardine to use to catch a blacktail. You can see all the smell, all the blood, everything just dripping everywhere. That's Ray's gobstopper. Enjoy guys, it's as easy as that.